Welcome back to the Gravity Rush Remastered Speedrun Beginner's Guide. So this is going to be, this episode is episode 3 and this is going to be the debt route. So we did debt into all three specials, we unlocked them at the end of episode 2. Uh, we still have the three gems remaining for uh, our last upgrade. Now even though we could debt into something else like Gravity Kick, which is explained in the previous video, we're actually going to spend these three gems on gauge usage because this is going to help our overall movement significantly, and then we're going to get Gravity Kick uh, pretty shortly in Episode 4. So for right now, we're just going to upgrade this, unpause. Alright, so for this part, we're going to head right above the fountain, grab the 10 gem here because the game needs to autosave, and uh, we can't we can't start the quest until the game finishes auto-saving, so you have enough time to get that gem without losing any time, then you're just going to mash X and square over the manhole, and then that'll let you start the mission. Okay, so for this first fight, there's going to be two Nevi that spawn, it's basically like up and to our left from where we're facing right now, and we're just going to use Gravity Typhoon on them, we're going to try to cancel the Typhoon a little bit early, and while the rocks are killing the um, Nevi, we're going to grab a 10 gem that's going to be over below the pipe on our left, that's going to help us get an upgrade a little earlier. Now, this is a little difficult to pull off, and it can feel a little inconsistent, because if you don't time it right, then the game can warp you out, and then you'll miss the 10 gem. If you don't feel comfortable um, getting that 10 gem at the start, it's okay. You can just use Gravity Typhoon and let it rock, and it'll kill them, and then it'll warp you there, so you'll be fine. Um, but I'll And I'll show you how where the backup gems are in Episode 4 that we'll get if you decide not to get the 10 gem here. Alright, so we're going to have one more text box, and then we'll use Gravity Typhoon. During the second wave of rocks, when they start getting thrown, that's when we're going to cancel it, and then we're going to kick over there. So it's like one wave, two waves, cancel. We're going to kick over here. You're going to see them die, grab the 10 gem, and then the game's going to warp us here. Alright, we're going to use Stasis, grab this chair, turn around, kick straight back, and that's going to be the chair. Pretty straightforward. All right, after this, we're going to hold up and right on the right analog stick, um, and then we're going to turn over so we can start getting the desk. So you're going to want to kick past here. If you feel like you're going to run into it, you can always cancel gravity, and instead of kicking against the wall, Cat will slide past it. So that's kind of a reactionary way to uh, keep your momentum without costing you too much. So we're going to kick over this roof here, and we're going to cancel it a little early so that we fly over the roof, and then we use this time to refill our gauge. But right when we get to it, we can pick it up. Pick up the desk, kick straight through here, turn, and then we're just going to mash X and square just to get that desk in there. Alright, now we're going to go up and to your left to get to the bed, and you're going to see a blue gem in between the two pipes. That's going to be um, the direction that you head. Then we're going to hit over here, talk to Sid. Talk to Sid. Alright, uh, I'm just going to pause before we start this. So, upcoming we're going to have uh, two Lancers, um, and then a bunch of R's is going to be this fight. So the goal is going to be we're going to try to uh, kick the Lancer, we're going to RGK the Lancers, and then we're going to kill one of the R's, and then we're going to use Gravity Typhoon to clear the rest of the wave. So, you're going to need to like move your camera with Gravity Typhoon, and you'll see what I'm trying to say, uh, in order to make sure that you kill all the R's. Uh, otherwise you'll run out of rocks before you can if you can you want to do it from right to left and kill the farthest ones away first and then the closer ones last so that in case you don't kill them uh you could just pick them off with the kicks all right so we're gonna kick straight through here we're gonna rgk this lane so it should take three kicks one, two, three and now there's gonna be a tutorial that comes up you want to kind of keep your distance here so that you can get a long range kick because it does deal more damage then we're gonna rgk that there we go. This should take two kicks. One, two. Alright, and then we're going to Gravity Typhoon. So we're going to start on the right, and then work our way to the left. Kill that one. And then we're going to kill these guys. Alright, so since there was one left, we're just going to pick him off. There we go. Alright, now one technique, in case you do end up here. Um, this is what's called a high jump. So if you jump and press R1, so like right here, Cat can barely make that jump, but she has to grab the ledge in order to get over it. But with a high jump, you just press X and then R1, L1, and she'll do, she'll basically do, um, a higher jump and it uses very little gauge. So as you can see, like, my gauge hasn't even gone down at all. So, like, let's say, you know, you just, we're kicking around, whatever, you're at like half gauge and you want to get over here, but you don't want to use all your gauge to get there, you can just do this. Um... Alright, so now that we've done that, we're going to pick up the bed here, 
We're gonna kick to this first gem, and then instead of going to where the waypoint says, it's actually slightly faster to just go directly back to your house. You're gonna kick down here. Um, make sure you cancel gravity pump here a little bit so you don't run out of gauge, because even if you're still falling and you want to fall, if you run out of gauge, you will, uh, you will drop the bed, and that is not what you want. So just make sure you gravity pump a little bit there and make it to the blue gem without completely running out of gauge. Alright, so that's going to be episode 3. Uh, a lot of it's just movement. The fights aren't too difficult. It's mostly just utilizing Gravity Typhoon. And uh, last thing we're going to do here is make a save. So, you can only save uh, pretty much between each episode because you can only save in Cat's house. Uh, what's nice is that if you do make a save, then it starts you from where the previous episode left off. So I'm just going to overwrite a couple of these saves that are old saves anyway. Um... But you do want to try to make separate saves for each episode because that gives you an easy way to practice uh, what you're doing. And you also want to make sure you have like the speedrun gem count so that you're understanding which gems you need to collect and all that kind of stuff. But I'll show you a bunch of places where you can get gems uh, throughout the run and which ones we want to focus on. Alright, so that's going to be it for the episode 3 debt route. Uh, and we'll, we'll pick it back up later, so I will see you next time.